Hello guys and welcome. On 2nd of June, Huawei launched much awaited operating system, Harmony OS for smartphone devices. This OS promises to provide a seamless cross-device user experience and design to rule the era of Internet of Everything. Initially, Huawei introduced Harmony OS at Huawei Developer Conference 2019 with limited device support. At SGC20, Huawei launched the second version of Harmony OS with new platforms. These include smartphones, tablets, smart wearables, IoT devices, in-car system, home appliances, and third-party devices. In 2021, Huawei has planned to install Harmony OS in 300 million devices, which is quite a big aim. To achieve it, the company has laid out Harmony OS upgrade roadmap, which consists 100 smartphones, tablets, and other devices. So, what is Harmony OS? So, what is Harmony OS? According to Huawei, Harmony OS is a new paradigm smart operating system that is designed to ease and enrich your life, facilitating seamless coordination between your device while bolstering privacy and security across the board. This operating system provides a versatile and all-scenario intelligence user experience with its distributed capabilities. Harmony OS comes with various new capabilities that makes user experience easy and enjoyable. But what makes an operating system interesting? The answer is its features, or should I say, its new features. That's why we are here to explore Harmony OS features that includes and cover various aspects of Huawei devices. So without further ado, let's jump on to the Harmony OS features. Let's first talk about the new home screen. Home screen is the first view that you get when you unlock your smartphone. And Harmony OS is no different. And brings subtle changes in the system app icon design as compared to MUI 11. The new system app icons look smoother and better than the last generation of MUI. That's not it, because these icons now have new swipe up gesture support. When you swipe up on an icon, it generates service widgets, which can be resized in 2x2, 2x4, and 4x4 tiles. These widgets come with different types of information according to each application. These service widgets can also be dragged to a new location or added to your custom home screen, making the easiest and the most convenient way to organize the on-screen elements. Next comes the control panel. The new control panel seems to be the most interactive feature of Harmony OS user interface. It works as a unified portal with simple section of different features and brings maximum usability to its entire layout. The control panel can be accessed by swiping down from the upper right edge of the screen and has device control access which consists of shortcut switches including music controller, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, shortcut switches, volume controller, super device, and widgets of the connected devices. If you swipe up from the lower left or the lower right corner of the screen, the system will lead you to the service center. This place is where all of your collected service widgets are stored and ready to offer access to your desired services. Service widgets works on the philosophy of nothing needs to be installed, use it as you need it. These allows users to see key information through widgets in a very efficient way. These service widgets can be added to the home screen with a simple tap and can be placed anywhere on the home screen. Service widgets can be shared from one Harmony OS device to another and enable to share your on-screen content with the recipient on the other end without the need to install any other application to view that content. Next is the Smart Folder. Harmony OS adds support for app categorization and management, 
by pressing down on a standard folder displays a large folder on which users can directly access similar apps in a single place and most interestingly these apps can be opened by tapping on the thumbnail icons without accessing the folder. However, NeoS brings support for step-free font, weight adjustments, and the feature also allows you to adjust the size of the font itself. Now let's move on to the smart features that makes your device a Super Harmony OS device. Super Device shows the real power of Harmony OS and defines the true meaning of Internet of Everything era. This feature is powered by the distributed capabilities of Harmony OS and allows users to combine different devices to form a Super Device. With Super Device, you can see a clear and easy to view map of every nearby trusted device that you are able to connect. To establish your connection, you just need to drag and drop the icon of that device to the Super Device and control that newly connected device directly from your Super Device. For instance, Super Device connected to an audio or TV can access display settings, Wi Fi. Bluetooth and volume controller. Users can manage device connections with just a tap of the Super Device button and transfer audio and video playback from Super Device to connected devices. Want to connect your home device and control them from one place? Don't worry, Harmony OS got you covered. This new operating system offers nimble, intelligent operations on household appliances such as quickly accessing the phone's network from the connected devices, controlling a screenless device from your phone screen without downloading a corresponding app, and providing direct service access to the connected apps. With Harmony OS, you just need to tap your phone against a selected household appliance or bring your phone into the range of the appliance to access all of its smart features. For instance, after connecting to a cooking oven, the user can find all the instructions and required ingredient to make that recipe. The new task center allows the apps to travel between different devices on their own without installing them on each and every one, so that all functions and services are available whenever and wherever they are needed. The Task Center feature works on smartphones, tablets, and smartwatches with super device support. The feature allows you to see the task running on all other devices. If you want a bigger display for mobile gaming, you can simply swipe up and hover to bring up the overview screen, and then transfer the game to your Huawei Mate Pad Pro continue the fun. Talking about performance. The Harmony OS 2 runs even more smoothly than the last generation of MUI. To be mentioned, a Harmony OS 2 phone can maintain read and write speed similar to those of a new phone even after 36 months of use. The operating system works fine even in situations such as very low memory and storage. With the new D graphic engine, Harmony OS provides better graphic performance and a smoother gaming performance. With the new D graphic engine, Harmony OS provides better graphic processing and a smoother gaming performance. According to Huawei, a Harmony OS party smartphone can run a graphic intensive game for up to 5.1 hours. On the other hand, MUI 11 can run it for 4.7 hours. And an iOS powered device can run it for 3.9 hours. That's it for now. Until next time, stay connected. If you liked this video, then press the like button, comment below, or press the bell icon to get notified on our latest video. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and join our Telegram channel to get the fastest notification on the latest news. And don't forget to visit wowcentral.com.